come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to take over the world. Even the future world, even flooded future worlds. These are the Internet <laughs> Radio Superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela. Michaela. Ooh. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> what do we watch tonight? We watched a movie that landed on the title of Split Second That's eventually. Really, you're right. You're very yes. correct that it just like, we'll go with this. Uh, yes. That'll be that'll be mm. fine. Does it's, it make sense it's, to our movie? It seems like it was like the the deal breaker of an argument where no one could decide yeah, on it. So yeah, they're like, yeah. fine, we'll call it split second. It sounds because, like an action movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. it. Because yes. it sounds like an action movie. Uh, yes. From the year. 1992. Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> directed by. Tony Malum. Do we know Tony Malum from anything From else? previous episode, The Burning. The Burning. The Burning. The Burning. Yes. Oh. The Burning. Instant classic, in my opinion, The Burning. Anything, <laughs> else, we, anything else we know from Tony Malum? <laughs> not much. No, so, not, right, much. not much. That's about it. There's a few other things here and there, but that, those are the headliners. Okay. All right. So, so is, there, is there a little bit of a story there? Because I noticed like the first credit that comes up at the end. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I did not see that. What is the first credit? It was like a uh, subway scene yeah. and additional scenes di- f- Ian directed Sharp? by Ian Sharp. Yeah. So I'm like Tony Malum couldn't finish the movie due to all the stress he went through during production. <laughs> <which> <laughs> I can believe. And oh, well. so Sharp, was he was he hospitalized for hypothermia? Probably I mean, hypothermia and I anxiety. Assume, yeah, I'm gonna get everybody uh, probably and secondhand got, smoke. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So, um, but he filmed the uh, the subway scene and some other additional scenes. That's why he's. This uh, movie was a complete disaster, again. top to bottom, during making it. So oh, it, was, no. it was made in eight weeks, not just and during they did, Yes, and really? they didn't decide on the creature design until the last three weeks of shooting. So they <laughs> had most of the was, movie done right, right, right. Like, so, before they figured out the that creature design. That explains why we don't. With three weeks left. Yeah. This guy was reading a Venom comic. Yes, like, I have yes. an idea. <laughs> Um, that explains why we didn't see the monster the entire movie. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. this um this movie was originally going to be titled Pentagram, and it was going to be set in modern day Los Angeles, and it was going to be about Rucker Hauer chasing down a serial killer that every five years kills five victims on like five 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 theme. Which why not six sure, six six if it's yeah. the devil? I guess the five points in the pentagram. Okay. But it, yeah, sure. yep, um, that's about as much as yeah, keeping this movie yeah, together. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but then that was too similar to another movie around the same time called The First Power, which I have not seen, oh, but now I'm interested in. Now I yeah. now I want to see The First Power, if that's yeah. what this is about. So then they said, okay, well, let's make it the future and we'll put it in London because that's different enough, right? Well, we'll make, <laughs> it, we'll make it flooded. So then it's like a futuristic dy- dystopian movie. Right. And we'll call it... polarized caps are melting. Yes. Oh. And we'll call it Black Tide, which sounds like a okay. pirate movie. <laughs> it, does. Yes. Yes. it really does. It really does, yes. but, yes. but probably more accurate to the movie we got. And... Um, so and the writer of this movie, hold on, we got we got to talk about the writer of this movie. Gary Scott Thompson yeah. wrote this movie with Harrison Ford in mind, which it's oh, like yeah. okay, you yeah, because it has like a little bit of a Blade Runner vibe. Yeah. But mm-hmm. um, Gary Scott Thompson, we know all too. I was well. like, we know this, this man might be the secretly richest man in Hollywood. He wrote Fast and the Furious. Oh. He wrote Too Fast, Too Furious. <laughs> <laughs> then he did Hollow Man. Oh. And 88 minutes. Stay tuned for that on the freak wow. show. The yeah. re- in real time Al Pacino crime thriller movie, 88 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. right. I remember. Yes, remember that. the whole marketing gimmick I've was like, you're going to watch a crime get solved start to Wasn't finish ben in 88 McKenzie minutes. Was Ben in that movie too? Probably. I think so. Much. Yeah. Oh, boy, is Kelsey Grammer in that? No, I'm thinking of the. That's the. No. Uh, that's a different one. All right. Yes. <laughs> but can you. D- this guy's got to be loaded, right? Just because Fast and the yeah, Furious Fast became a whole Furious franchise is, yep. that he yeah. created. Probably like, gets royalties yeah, off of yeah. that all Good time. Good for him. Because he is in that yeah. movie. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Along with Lily Sobieski, who I miss. Like, where's. You, do you? She, she do you just, miss her? Yeah. I, there was. When I was growing up. You can go up, watch The Wicker she, Man. She was in a lot of movies no, I watched she, growing up. She was. Yeah. She was in a lot of movies that we watched. She was in The Glass House. She, like, disappeared, right? Yeah. Eyes wide shut. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, sidebar. The Lily Sobieski <laughs> side. The Sobieski sidebar, we'll call it. You can do that. So Ooh, this is, takes eight. place in the future London of what year? 2008. There you go. Well, because it was made in 92. In 92, yeah. yes. So uh, describe for us the setting. I can't believe this movie was made in eight weeks with the amount of production design that had to go into it. 
I mean, you're seeing like the same alleyway over and over again. I feel like just redressed a couple times in fog machines right. and water. And the same you know? police station yeah. areas. Yeah. Mostly. I mean, I don't, unless we're just saying that London, certain parts of London are just that skanky <laughs> that they're just like, at eh, that time, eh, yeah, yeah, skanky. They just got to let a couple of rats loose. Uh, there's a rat problem and mm-hmm. there's a plague and, subplot. Well, we get a big really scroll good. at the beginning of this movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. explains that there was a biblical level flood because of global warming. For 40 days. Of and flight. so, but like with, and like the, the flood level changes with the tide, um, which like they tried to tie the moon into some weird ways, but then dropped it entirely. Like that mm-hmm. that thread because there was something yeah. about like he attacks every new moon is what he says. Yeah, that like, was, that was wait mentioned. what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which makes you think it has something to do with the tide, but it doesn't. So, but like the water but, would move the rats. Yeah, because the the rats. When they say it's flooded, though, like it's like knee high everywhere. It's not like it's annoying, but it's, it's, like, it's like not that bad. High, right? Yeah, like, they're yeah. mostly just slashing around. Yeah. Through. I mean, I guess it gives the movie a look, yes. you know, because I mean, as you're mm-hmm. describing like what the original thing was, it's like, mm-hmm. OK, it's an occult Highlight. serial killer cop versus serial killer mm-hmm. movie. Right. But it'll look weird if every time or it'll look cool every time they run down a street. It's splashing. splashing. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for lighting. Colin. Yeah. You yeah. Get light bouncing off all that yes. water and everything. What does future London look like? The What's future the in every 90s shit? movie. Yeah. Dusters, tiny sunglasses, smoking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Severe, Darkness. like weird cyberpunk kind of mm-hmm. future almost. Yeah, lot yeah. Of dark Lots of boots with big straps and stuff. Yeah, a lot of big buckles. Yeah. 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 But not enough people wearing like big fisherman boots and stuff. There and, should, right? There's yeah. no practicality to yeah. that. No, the entire police force should have just Fishing waiters. waiters. Yeah. 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 Every, sure. Everyone should look like they walked off the deadliest catch. Yes, exactly. And they don't. Exactly. Those guys would thrive in this kind of they world, really the would. deadliest catch. They yeah. would be the kings of this world. That's what I want this movie to <laughs> have. I want this people. movie to have a street gang of fishermen. We need yeah, more, that's what I want. We need more of the, of the uh, Demolition Man Society. That's money. Yeah. 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 We, we need too more much of money, Sean. Yeah. yeah. And like the... Yeah. It truly yeah. does. Yeah. And the um, fucking like Dennis Leary gang is all fishermen. Yeah. 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 Yes. That's what I want. No, they... And they started kind of turning into fish a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that's water. No, 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 no. No, we gotta no, bring it in. No. Yeah, because you can combine the, movies because that's basically what this sequel. one does. No, right? but yeah. the lead gang guy will be named Gil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is also a very cagey movie. Cagey, yeah. I mean, and like, cagey is in like the set is cages. literal cages to yeah. show the future. Cages. Yeah, fences <laughs> everywhere, cages <laughs> everywhere, cages on the yeah. ceiling, yeah. just chicken wire hell everywhere yeah. they go. <laughs> oh, I hate a that bunch of shit wire hanging hell. around the accoutrements <laughs> of uh, you know just dystopian <laughs> future life. Anyway, accoutrement, so, accoutrement. It's that, it's that 90s approach to the future where just cram a bunch of shit everywhere yeah. you can and it'll look yeah. different. You know. Mm-hmm. It's like the, the 90s production designers had no nobody, uh, imagination. Nobody had, no, nobody had any hope for the future. Yeah. I'm yeah. beginning to yeah. learn based on what I mean, every they production wrong? designer I was gonna, I was just had say, designed for the future. They're they like, weren't we're wrong. We know yeah. it. They were, no, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, it's going downhill. Mm-hmm. But apparently they didn't see the computers would come along and save us because I don't remember ever seeing a computer terminal really in this movie. There's no, like, you know, usually there's somewhere in the dystopian uh, underground, there's like a stack of computer monitors mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. Like those there, two. Yeah, yeah there is. A certain aspect of technology that is absent from this. Yeah, yeah. you just with see all a, the water. Yeah, you just see like computer banks in the police station. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So screens and stuff you'd expect from later cyberpunk movies mm-hmm. don't really make an appearance here. It's not very colorful. It's very dark and gray. Very I mean, that's yeah. London. Very drab. Yeah. Mm. And it may be one of the most disgusting movies that we've ever watched on the Saturday Night Free Show. Is- I feel like I need a shower after a while. I feel like, like, like Holly, like, you yeah. described it really well. What did you say about like how it made you feel? So like I, yeah, no, it made me like just the overall ambiance of this movie made me. It gave me phantom wet clothes feelings. Yeah, yeah, like you feel like you're wearing <laughs> oh, wet, like, wet yeah, jeans. Yeah, yeah. Yes, my exactly. shoes are squishy yeah. from water. Like oh, I have to keep telling myself that I'm dry. That, that <laughs> also, right, yes, that and also just randomly, Rutger Hauer will be moist for yes, different parts. Yes. Of yeah. yeah, yeah, we were you trying to figure ever, that you ever out. See hardware? Were you guys here for hardware? I was not. I watched hardware on my own yeah, during the pandemic. I don't know. There's a scene where that one guy <laughs> is like taking pictures and everything. Oh yeah, he's got he's got rubber. He's got gloves. On and he's sweating. It's just, yep. there's just a, that was a very sweaty movie. It that was, was like sweaty the, movie. the other side of global warming, yeah. which is hot all the time. Hardware yeah. did actually, like, I thought of that a lot while we were watching this because I think that was around the same time. Yeah. Better production design, I think, in, in hardware. I mean, even though it's going for the same kind of, mm-hmm. you know, junk mm-hmm. future. Yeah. Um, junk, this, future. junk future. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, yeah. That's but that. this one is cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, because I think that's why the, even the color palette just mm-hmm. kind of gives you that mm-hmm. kind of grimy. There's Drab. like you can smell the smells of this oh, world. Mm-hmm. You don't want to, which just have mm-hmm. to be pungent and awful. There's mm-hmm. uh, you know, like we said, trash everywhere, rats I can't running around. The one character's like, this apartment's amazing. I, yeah, okay, yeah. We're, Everyone we're in this oh, is like, like, like they're so used yeah. to their <laughs> shitty situation. <laughs> yeah, it's like we've talked, we've. We've watched movies that are disgusting in different ways, but there is a whole other level when it's like home disgusting. Right. When it's like when you got the... bonbons tacked to the yeah. wall of your fridge, oh, Ew, it's that the was world's so gross. greasiest it's, like it's, refrigerator. He literally, got... our main character literally says when they walk in the door that his apartment is greasy. Yeah, he says I have everything I Watch have. Watch what greasy. you brush against. Everything's yeah, greasy. everything's yeah. greasy. I thought he was gonna have. Well, he's got Harley Davidson parts and stuff like that. But like when you see it, you're like, oh, I thought it was gonna be like motor oil. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not. Just, it's not just like a mechanic shop. It's like pigeons have been. It's a pigeon loft. He's a hoarder. Yeah, he's a hoarder with yeah. Like rabbit pigeons everywhere. It's they disgusting. don't show the bird shit all over the place. But it's but you there. You know it's there. it's there. Who is this guy? Detective Harley Stone, Colin. Mm. Played by Rucker Howard. Oh, the boy. iconic Rucker Howard. <laughs> He's got to be on the wall, <laughs> right? Uh, we haven't done the Hitcher yet. What about Hobo with yeah. a Shotgun? We haven't the done Hitcher. Hobo with a Shotgun The Hitcher's yet. definitely on my oh, list. My, the the, the Hitcher's been on my list. Only yeah. on two? He's been here before. Yeah. I mean, he was a guy, you know, he didn't like. Those, was Sin uh, City? Did you guys do Sin City? We did. No, no we didn't no. do Sin no? City. No, I don't Sin think City. you did. I don't think we've done. Have no. we not done a Rutger Hauer we movie? Yeah, we did. We did one Rutger Hauer. We did movie. one. Um, just like a few. We months didn't do back. Lady Hawk. We didn't do Flesh and Blood. We, we didn't did do... Rutger Hauer. We totally did a Rutger Hauer. I'm movie, scrolling because I, I yeah, there's got to yeah. be something on here. Uh, yeah, no, we totally. No. Did. This is what happens when you've done over 500 movies. You're <laughs> yeah, just like, I'm sure we've done them at some point. Pretty sure we didn't do Dracula 3D. This is the problem I find when people ask me what they should watch. I'm like, like yeah. we've watched over 500. Oh, no, I, I don't remember. I have to go back to the thing and look through them like I'm not good off the bat. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I don't remember. Oh, he did a lot of time. movies with Paul Verhoeven mm-hmm. like yeah. in his uh, beginning career, came here and then, uh, you know, Blade Runner, right? And uh, Nighthawks I mean, with Sylvester Stallone. Hawks, we haven't yeah. done that yeah. one either. No. Um, this, uh, yeah, because then after that, it's like He's just Lady done Hawk so and, uh, much. That's the thing. He's been in so many movies like I do not remember the record. We didn't no. do Wanted Dead or Alive, mm-hmm. where he was uh, the. Did you do Blade so, Runner? No, I don't think we did Blade Runner. No Blade I'm Runner. surprised that didn't get brought yeah. to the. I won't, too classy I for the Saturday yeah, night. Truly, yeah. Let's leave it you there. Don't Buffy the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. Oh, that's right. He was Lofos. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, have, we haven't done it, but done yeah. I love that movie. Right. That's I great. I love yeah, that movie. That. Yeah, shocking. We're gonna spend forever trying to go. Probably. Who else is in this movie? Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall is in this yes. movie coming right off Star Trek. Yes. And she's filming at the same Liverpool time. Liverpool Cleopatra herself is in this movie, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, filming, uh, coming off of uh, Star Trek VI, Undiscovered Country, and so she's got the same haircut, so. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, like, where I had seen after we were talking about mm-hmm. Kim Cattrall's in this movie, and I'm like, where the fuck did I see her before? Because she Big started Big Trouble working in Little in China? The, yeah. Um, and uh, before that, Porky's. Mm-hmm. And uh, before that, she was Police Academy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Mannequin Two. Yeah, Mannequin mm-hmm. Two. On the, on what the was run? that? On the move. On the move. <laughs> what was that movie with Rob Blow? She was like a it girl for a little mm-hmm. while, and yeah. it feels like right. I mean, she had Star Trek the year before this, mm-hmm. and then split second, and then a couple of years after that, there's uh, Sex in the City, right. and then Superstardom. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, she's got the Star Trek hairdo. She does. In this. Uh, so. Okay, so and then there's also the partner because uh, every every Cause what are we getting into yeah. here? We're getting into a, a very stereotypical, very tropey buddy cop movie. Yeah, we got mm-hmm. the psycho who's on the edge, and then we got the bookworm who he's teamed up with. He's like, "Hey, meet your new partner." Yeah, the street smarts, street smarts versus book smarts. Exactly. Well. Yeah. And so they're going to learn from each other. Yes. It should be noted that this was the same year as Buffy, by the way. Was, was it? it? Yeah. Oh, this nice. Is the same year as like a many things. You're just like <laughs> yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's a hardworking guy. Yeah. 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 Rucker Howard in demand. Mm-hmm. He was all over the place. May he rest. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you're talking about like the the uh, you know the buddy cop movie, but describe. If you could, the uh, the the guy who's on the edge, mm-hmm. Harley Stone, yes, in this movie, like what? <laughs> who uh, is he's, this got a, he's got a diet of, of coffee, chocolate, and anxiety. Yes, which don't we all? <laughs> and and yeah. cigarette smoke and cigar smoke. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all. That's what he's working on, which yep. is what you would think 
any like strung out cop who's working the zombie squad, basically. I truly don't think I have seen a movie where a character smokes this much. Yeah, it's constant. Like, like it's a lot. He took one drag of a cigarette and he billed it out for the next five minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there was this was real smoking. This was oh, not yeah, any this of is that. They didn't give them just like puffer <laughs> cigarette they, shit. They, yeah. yeah, they asked like they'd like, do you mind if I smoke on this scene? Like, yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is that feeling that Rutger Howard just kind of like embellished a lot of scenes. That he's in. Oh he's yeah. Always throwing people up against the walls. At one point oh, he, he's, he's like, arrested. And like we see him freaking out in jail because <laughs> he's such a badass cop. I guess that's what they're going for. Yeah. Like, he's such yeah, a yeah, badass. Sure. That like when we're first introduced to the movie, he's like wanted by the police who are like, B, there's an APB, he's armed and dangerous. And you're like, ooh, they, ooh they, this is taking place like after, you know, some mm-hmm. of the plot has already happened or right. something. But no, this is the beginning of the movie. Yeah. And uh they they catch him and throw him in, in jail. And then they get him out and they're like, you know, he gets to talk to from the captain and then uh, captain gives him after he's like, you're, you're like part. What you're was on it? the edge. You're the worst. He's, I hate you. Here's he's, your badge. Wasn't he like part psychotic and part psychopath or that's the bad guy? Yeah, he's talking <laughs> but about he's not, But he's also, but he's saying everything that's just like, he's a psycho, but he's saying everything that describes Rutger Hauer. At yeah. The yeah. 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 Here's your badge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's your badge back. You're reinstated. Mm-hmm. Well, we're first introduced to him like uh, on the case. He's on, mm-hmm. he's hunting this killer. It's personal, yep. right? Because yep. the killer killed his partner. Mm-hmm. Yes. Isn't there some like uh, backstory here that involved Kim Cattrall? He was having an affair with his partner's wife. Which is Kim Cattrall. Yes. And the partner was also Pete Postlewaite's best friend. Mm-hmm. Who is also in this yeah. movie? Oscar has a problem winner with Pete Possibly yeah. yeah. is a desk sergeant or mm-hmm. something. It gets yelled at and, yes, thrown up against the wall yep. by Rutger Howard. So many of people are thrown so up against the wall. He just goes around like yelling at everybody. I just, I, I, want, I want to believe that that was just Rutger Howard, like, <laughs> yeah. in, just all the time. Oh, yeah. It's just, I think he is. Just from throwing I, everyone up against the wall. Whatever, and he had a lot of influence in, you know, kind of reshaping the script when he came yeah. onto it. He's like, and I'm sure he's like, can I throw, can, have I thrown yeah. enough people No, I mean, like, I want, I want him to be doing that just like, like between takes. Here's your order, sir. Oh! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Does it have mustard? Exactly. He's could you people by the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every scene. I want him to be really aggressive. But could you imagine in your like regular office job people doing this? Like if say if you had it a, would make if, it more if interesting. If you had an I kind of like to see it happen to some other people. If you had an unhinged coworker that was like on the edge and like just always throwing other coworkers <laughs> against the wall, it's but like, like in an office, not right, a person. Right. You guys like, let him get, with it. We'll get yeah. away with that. He's yeah. the best. Yeah. We have to. He's the only one that can write this story. This is totally an SNL skit. Uh, yeah. I can see Will Ferrell doing this. Like, uh, back I was going to say, days. I want Ryan Gosling to be like the straight oh, yeah. cop to the unhinged one. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. Ryan Gosling could be the unhinged one. Yeah, he wow. could. Yeah. I, fuck yeah. yeah he where's, could. Our, where's our nice guy sequel? You guys, oh, seriously? I love nice that movie. Too, right? yeah, I know. I, I love like, that movie. They'll make sequels to any fucking movie nowadays, but not, but not, not the nice guy. I don't know if that one yeah. actually did well, but I mean, I probably not. I feel like we're the only people I know that have seen it. Yeah. It's so good. Um, and to make him a badass, he uh, he also he smokes a lot, but he mm-hmm. lights his cigars with uh, like a, a uh, flamethrower, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a bun- yeah, like yeah. a fucking yeah. Bunsen burner. Yeah. And he lives in this apartment, like we've described, which is just I don't know, it's cinder block. It's uh, the most disgusting place in the. the, the, the it's like <laughs> yeah. it's like a roof. It's like a loft, like a rooftop loft, but it's um, just kind of the same place that um, Marion Cabretti lives. But cleaner. No, that was way nicer. He had like a penthouse apartment in Florida. Kind of, well, okay, think of it like thirty years past that, where nobody took. Care it was of it. clean. No, oh, no, you're no. saying you're, this, this is the complete is opposite cleaner. of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, so what's this? This is a guy who's been pizza scissoring for thirty years and it's gone off the edge. This yeah. is Rutger Howard. But like he said, there's a part where Kim Cattrall's like, "Can you open a window?" And he was like, "They're broken." You, Which I took that as they're all like the glass is broken out, and that's why birds are flying no, in. It here. would have been funny if she like, "Can you open a window? Can you light a candle? Can you blow this place <laughs> up, please? <laughs> it smells in here. It's yeah. so gross." Ugh. It's just that scene is like played like, you know, it's him bringing her back to the apartment for the first time. They have them in estranged, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, he brings her back. And it's that kind of, you know, the woman's going through the apartment like, oh, this is how the guy lives. Mm-hmm. But the idea, I think, was that they're going to get busy that night. Right. Because isn't it like uh, they meet up and they're like, well, I just you know, I work alone, but don't you need somebody? 
just for tonight. I'm like, okay, right, yeah. go back to the house. And it's like she's walking through. This she cares place. for him, <laughs> if nothing else. And mm-hmm. somehow missing the fact that it's uh, just disgusting. Um, okay, so how do we introduce? How are we introduced to? <laughs> like, welcome uh, to dating. Yeah. <laughs> I've, yeah? I've, I've been no, in a is, lot of really Holly, gross. Apartments. This is all I could think. I'm like, this is like <laughs> currently coming home to a guy's apartment, and he doesn't have a bed frame. It's just a mattress on the floor. Uh, that's best this case scenario. Thou- yeah. This is a thousand times like, worse, I've, but I un- I understood. I've yeah. been in some gross apartments. Men right. live in some fucking disgusting yeah, styles and don't even think twice about it. That's the thing; they don't even notice it. That's yeah. The they're just like this. Is I'm normal. not gonna lie. That's true. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we know. You are not yeah. wrong. We know. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> It's disgusting. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's on the case of this killer who apparently strikes every year. I don't know. Was it was every five years? Was it every year? Wait, what? No, I d- no that's, ah, that was the original wait. script oh, right. idea. Right. That did not. That, I this is not really a schedule. He's back. This one. Yeah. So it's been like a year. But we know, how do we know he's back, Sean? He because he it writes it. Keep that. Oh, this is important. Let's let's put yeah. a pin in this. Break he writes on the mirror, I'm back. He does. Just knowing what we know later on about what it is. Right. Because we, well, we, he yeah. wrote on the mirror, "I'm back." There's okay, a, there's no, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, no, no. Everything is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Consider it. Yes. There's a lot. Did of this he use a was, paintbrush? So because he, he used those he didn't fucking use a tennis, oh, claws. He used the victim's finger, right? Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, or he took the tip of her heart and yeah. wrote it on there. Yeah, because. He's stealing was, hearts. The fact that ah. you were saying no. that the, the monster <laughs> wasn't created Monsters. until like the end of the... Because yeah. it is a monster movie, I guess, yes, right? It's a satanic monster movie. That's a shocker. They're, they're really pushing He's that. Satan. Ah. <laughs> the I'm devil. Satan, guys. Ah. Venom is Satan. He's ah. Satan. Yeah, what does he look like? He literally looks exactly like Venom. They, yeah, at the time I thought it looked like they, they ripped off Alien. It, like, yeah. Just, I think it's funny that the writer of this movie thinks that the occult and astrology are so closely linked. Well, yeah. it, it, this, that, that's, you know, how many script rewrites mashing up against that's each true. other. You that's know, that, I think that's what that is. I think it's... <laughs> It's just a fucking Mad Libs of a script, you know? It really is. But it plays like, you know, like, yeah, he's written something in blood. Later, he uh, abducts the partner and ties, like, his arms behind his back. And And we never see it. You don't even see shadows. You just see, like, doors swinging where it went through and, like, blood Mm -hmm. trails. Like, so you're like, is this thing fucking invisible? How is this guy moving this fast? We are wondering a lot about this thing Mm -hmm. early on. Mm Because we think, you know, as we're introduced, we think it's a person based on the past history. Yeah, the the, the beginning of the movie, we think it's a serial killer who violently rips the hearts out of his victims. Okay, that's be- yeah. that's believable with a person. We can sure. we can see how that can happen. But We're the more it goes, we see a lot more claws as we the go on. Fucking yes. weirder it gets. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of black, a lot of bl- bl- like hands with yeah. large claws. Swiping it's like oh, he, t- he took a he took a bite out of the heart, and then they do a mold yeah. of the teeth. And it's fucking it's venom venom, venom teeth. teeth. <laughs> it's venom teeth. All this uh, all this time to say that I th- thought we were going towards a rat person. We all did because they kept hitting the rat yeah, stuff. Because so the rat hard. thing is a big thing, and so the it being yeah. a rat person, I was just like, oh, is, are there giant rats in this movie? I mean, uh, technically, you're right because there is a giant rat that just like we show at one point that goes nah, and it's, it's just like, like a, waving at the yeah, camera. It's like a borderline Jim Henson rat. It <laughs> yes. is. Yeah. It's almost but like a mole. T- yeah. What we learn about this monster though, Sean, technically you're right because it says it absorbs the DNA of the thing right. it right. kills and says there is rat DNA so present. So this is so kind of like the relic. Man. Yeah, but when, it, when it you said that, I didn't <laughs> yeah. know it was absorbing and it was just like it's got polycarbonate DNA or whatever. And well, like, no, what? they say it absorbs the DNA from all its victims. They say that. It has DNA from all so it's turning into like a super, taking the DNA and yeah. turning into a super being of some sort. Doesn't matter though, because that comes to nothing. Right. So don't, don't, truly, don't truly, you can truly. delete that information from like, your brain. Ah, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's so much. I mean, <laughs> the, the, so much. The plague, that means nothing. The plague pits that are advertised all over the place. Yep. There was Chekhov's uh, grenade launcher, which yes. I did appreciate that Thank that was God. mentioned early. Yeah. And we're like, okay, that's going to show back up again. Um, so he is uh, on the trail of this thing. But he also has. So how does how does he know where where the monster is going to strike? He can hear its heartbeat. He seems to have a connection with this monster. <sighs> <laughs> Says Holly. Wait, is that because it it killed its part his partner and like? Well, technically, he killed his partner, and as we learned, so later absorbed on, the partner DNA. Well, there was a connection with uh, the monster because that's he did right. The big cut down his arm. Which is revealed later. Well, so that means he sharing. has part of his DNA, so they, right. have a, so they, they do have a connection. Yeah, okay. they're, they're, right. sharing like, a, they're sharing the Horcrux. It's a, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's yeah. a fucking vampire situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, then... 
Doesn't matter. No. Nope. I'm just like, well, Kim Cattrall's nope, bite nope, comes to nothing. It. It yeah. Matter. yeah, it doesn't matter. I was matter. waiting for it. I it doesn't it, matter. But they didn't do anything yeah. with it. So. Kim Cattrall gets bitten on the back of her neck in the shower. Like, maybe she would start having the same visions or connections that Yeah, Dr. she would help having. him find uh, it because she's connected uh, to it now. a better movie, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. No. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. No. Nope. No. Um, she could sense that it was near yeah. when it, before it kidnapped her, but that's it. Yeah. It just took a little venom bite out of her back. Out of randomness. It bit me! Yeah. So, yeah, because it kills the neighbor. I think. Yeah, it's this whole thing where Why it's like kill her. It's at my house, character. and so they all run over to the house, and then uh, you know him and his partner run to the house, and then oh, she's still fine, still fine. still in the shower. Still it's fine. the neighbor, and then we deal with that because I think in that scene with the neighbor, right? It's like the neighbor's dead. It's ripped the uh, heart out. There's a shootout that takes place right. where I think the devil uh, uh, carries a shotgun and is blasting. De- was this the one where I was like, is Rutger Hauer? Shooting at him, so I couldn't tell. It was, this hard was, to this tell. was a wonderful it, scene. First of, the- of all, for many reasons. Let's just let's just stop here. We gotta stop here because this is a this is a giant venom rat monster who has decided, even though he is probably three feet taller than most of the characters. In they they say he would have to be ten feet tall to mm-hmm. paint on the ceiling, right. so we know it's at least ten feet. So tall. at least yeah. we have that. Mm-hmm. Uh, a man who has giant claws for hands, which we will eventually like eight learn. inch claws. Uh, yeah, yes, huge, and who has killed people this way before and seems to be. Uh, extremely strong, but what does he do? He uses a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? But, dear listener, dear Brailler, to see the giant clawed hand wrapped around the front of a shotgun, trying to get—it's it's just a weird juxtaposition of you shouldn't be using a shotgun. Like you are mm-hmm. too animal to be doing this at this point, mm-hmm. and it's just real weird. But also, what Colin said is that because we get one shot of the monster in this scene, and then 20 shots of Rutger Howard jumping over furniture, yep. it really feels like he's shooting it himself. But because yes. they're, mm-hmm. they're shot and it's in, like, following each other, he shoots, and then we and see then like, a shot something that explodes. of him dodging a bullet yes. in the next, and you're like, wait, aren't you supposed to... Put a shot right, in there of the right, of the monster running away, yeah. not him jumping. But they over didn't shit. have the monster at this point in the movie. Apparently I'm assuming. not. No, they did not. Okay. No, this is like the alien in Alien Three. You really don't get much of it until way later in the end. Doesn't Even it? maybe uh, what you call it, um, the uh, Roger Corman. Um, Shocking dark. Nope. Oh. It did look. It looked like uh, uh, what was that? The Roger, other Venom uh, monster. Uh, forbidden, forbidden, uh, forbidden world. Forbidden oh, world. Yeah, yeah. 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 It looked yes. like that. Yeah, yeah. The alien ripper. I mean, it does. It has a visor. It's Why does it have a visor? Because they built the head off of a motorcycle it, helmet. Yeah, but probably for some, for to put it over the shot, actor's head. Yeah. Did not cover up the visor. Yeah. On it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I love the ingenuity of, of, of effects people. I saw in the credits, uh, Stephen Norrington was the head effects Correct. guy. And uh-huh. he, of course, became the director of Blade mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Ooh, did that end his career? I think that, well, he said he had such a bad time on that movie and hated Sean Connery so much that he was never going to direct again. But then, wow. like, there's all <laughs> these. Like, I remember Connery. when they said he was going to direct the Crow remake, and then Ugh. that kind of fell off. Ugh. And I think Clash of the Titans. He was going to make do, that like, fucking movie just so we're done with it. I think they did, didn't they? Isn't Bill I, Sars? I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, something's happening. In there. theory, and that's what I've heard. Yeah, I think they shot it already, and the Crow yeah. is coming out. Isn't the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen like Sean Connery's last movie? Yes, right, it's the one that yeah. put him into retirement. It's good. Wow, what a way to go out on the bottom. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. You know, some like they couldn't legacy like stunt cast him in like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or something just to not make that his last credit. You know, yeah. just like yeah. one give him more, like one. No, team. he walked away from oh. that. I mean no, no, no. He did come back. He did uh What he walk well, away not, for? It's not a movie. Oh, he he did uh, the he did James Bond again and it was a video game. Uh, oh, that doesn't, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't count. count. Yeah, yeah. No. he sounded old, but yeah. I mean he played uh, it just to would, have yeah. like yeah. Um, this, Jesus okay. Christ! And then he died. So that's it. Say, that's it. I would say Sean Connery died right. Twenty twenty. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was just like he's still with us. He's not. No. no. That's why I'm like that's yeah. it, man. There's no there's no uh, undoing that. Yeah, was Entrapment, the movie he did before that, where he's paired up with Catherine Zeta-Jones? Oh, yeah, I remember that one. That yeah. Was a big, uh, saw the advertising. She was like 30 and he was like 72. Okay. Yeah, real yeah. weird. Real weird. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, a lot of cat suits and lasers. and mm-hmm. yeah, The killer uh, in the movie leaves clues. Um, one of them, as you said, it would have to be it'd have to be 10 foot tall to paint this astrological sign on the ceiling. A wonderful moment in this movie where we're just like, Oh, he's painted designs and shapes, and maybe there's some meaning to it. Meanwhile, the camera is just showing like blood splatters like, on a swipes. wall. Yeah, it's like what? what? He's like, it's an astrological symbol. It's a Scorpio, and you're like, what? Uh, and then it pans yeah. over. Right. Something that is yeah. obviously mm-hmm. something that's yeah. up there. Yes. 
Um, Which none of this means shit, right? Does it? Ultimately, doesn't like add anything. It just gets to this? them to the location through some bullshit excuse of like it's a map, actually. Which like I hate. That's a trope I hate. I hate that it's always like turn like, it around this oh, way and it's a if map. We put, if we put that symbol on a map, we'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, 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 that does happen a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. So. I don't know if you guys picked up on this, but oh. according to the IMDb trivia, so, um, do you guys ever see these trivia comments that are clearly some like smart ass film nerd just making shit up and assigning it to the movie? Sure. So sure. there's one like this for if this movie. If you look at IMDb, that's it's, exactly what you're going to find. But this one, it, it just like the tone of which this one was written. I was like, oh my God, hold on. Let me pull it up real quick. But <laughs> there, this movie bears a little bit of a resemblance to like something that actually happened in history. So the, the IMDb trivia says few people notice it, but this is actually a modern retelling of the Jack the Ripper story. That's that's the Jack IMDb Ripper equivalent of hearts. I know my friends won't post this, but I'm gonna <laughs> yes. and I'm just like fuck I'm I am i am fuck you right off the first exactly, part right. of your few people know that I know this. I'm just like fuck right, exactly, you. exactly. <laughs> I gotta downvote that comment, make yeah, sure. But like, um, you know, a few people know like, okay, you're smart. But the Jack the Ripper case, that's one of those two where people swear like his killings make a pentagram. That's that like people okay, say also, that about Jack the Ripper. And there's a vague mention and hearts get cut out. That's there's well, it's yeah. a Jack the Ripper. Like, there's um, you can connect the dots, but I mean, that's a reach for a movie that didn't set out to do that. You it know? definitely didn't. Yeah. yeah, that is something you can yeah. connect after the fact. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, they did yeah. that too. Like, mm-hmm. right. But like, people IRL think that Jack the Ripper killed people in the shape of a pentagram, and like, what the 1800s when maps mm-hmm. were not readily available. It's a right. coincidence. And who people knows calm the fuck the down. Like, yeah. How much? How? How? Uh, 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 how much has changed since then? Yeah, how much yeah. has changed or how accurate their it, description was of where everything happened? They're just like... Exactly. Uh, 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 they were looking we'll at the stars to figure that shit later. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the map is... Uh, we're told that the the symbol that he leaves is like... Uh, well, I mean, it's both the Scorpio and it also mm-hmm. has a protection ring and it has yeah. the... Yeah. The, this yeah. information the comes out of nowhere. Colin makes it sound like bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but once the symbol is carved on the partner's chest, that's where we find out that it's a map. <laughs> but partner. unfortunately... Yeah, because the, the partner, partner gets kidnapped. We really need to talk about the partner. The partner. <laughs> Dick Durkin. <laughs> journey is what yeah. we thought it was going to mm-hmm. be, what it ended up being, which is There's all the same just, thing. I just want everyone to know that he gets laid every night. Every, <laughs> every night. That is a running you, joke. You said you get awesome. laid every night, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it like, uh, he's this like, man. He had the greatest jokes. So he is jokes. basically Will Ferrell from the... the the other guys, right? Where he's just like, he looks like a nerd and everything, but it's yeah. like Ava Mendez is a hot wife. He's yeah. like, yeah, we have sex every night. Because yeah. the movie never <laughs> disproves this. There's a running no. thing because it's like he asks him, like, are you serious? You get like, laid every night? He's yeah. like, yep. Right. He's like, I read moment. these five books on the occult after sex. You know? Yeah. He, yeah. Like, he, he, there's he cleared even, his head, he had nothing to distract him, and yep. then he read. Yeah. And he I goes out for a run in I the don't morning. know if you caught it, but there's even a moment when they're like in the underground with the rat catcher that as they're coming around a corner, you hear... You hear Rucker Hour tell the rat catcher he gets laid every night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he turns around. He's like, "Good for him." Like he, really, like it's so subtle. It's ridiculous. That's so. This but he's is, uh, he, he's like a straight laced. Like he went to Oxford. He's all like, yeah, right, yeah again. Like Dick, said. Dick Durkin. Dick yeah. Durkin. He yeah. does uh, Tai Chi. On Durkin. The he does Tai Chi. Yes. Yes. And yeah, and you cannot convince me otherwise. These two fall madly in love. Oh yeah, yeah they do. Me. Yeah. <laughs> like you're, you're the other half of me. Yeah. yeah. They stroke each other's hair several times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> several times. I love a relationship like that. It is that. so. Like, it's like more intimate than any relationship I've ever had. Which is what I want from every. Every buddy cop thing. Yeah, I want yeah. them to know each other yeah. so intimately. But yeah. you just know Rugger Howard's afraid to fall in love again because uh, last yes. time he did, his partner died. So this is why he doesn't he, want this, him to go Well, this is it. why he only only works and drinks coffee. Yeah, is because he's and afraid. He's chocolate. And he's chocolate yeah. because he's afraid to fall, have a partner yeah. and fall in love again. Yeah. I oh, I really want more of the backstory. Like his partner bought him chocolates all the time. That's why he only eats uh, chocolates. Eats the chocolates. Uh, Keeps, Keeps the memory alive. Yeah, I want that so bad. Mm. That's why so just, Rucker like, Howard and his partner are in love. Yep. Well, how does okay. this romance 100%. blossom? Because it seems to me there was, uh, you know, first of all, it's the odd people, but uh, the, yeah. the partner finds uh, Rutger Howard's jokes funny. I think mm-hmm. the first moment when he knew he was the one was towards the beginning of their partnership 
when Rucker Howard is like in an alley and he's just like, where are you? I know you're out. And he just starts shooting his gun in the air and all the other cops that are there come and like put their guns on him. Yeah. Right and the face. partner comes out and they're like, he's like, stop, stop, stop. And he gets down in his face and he's like stroking. He's like, what do you see? Yeah. What do you see? <laughs> tell me, tell me what you see. I'm it's here like, for you. It's, it's like so that, tender. Like, yeah. It's so fucking yeah. tender and beautiful. And that's the moment uh, that I, that's the moment I knew. Uh, What's funny is yeah, that right. like, yeah, they that, don't know. We know. We knew. That's yeah. a relationship you see in other movies too where it's usually like uh, the tamer and the beast, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm uh, the only one that can speak to him. Yeah. Let right, me right, through. Right. The yeah. only one who yeah. understands. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's, that's I understand why, him. It was like a mighty partners. Joe Young situation, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, no! So tender. Yeah. What was the scene that me. happened in the, the bathroom? Because um, was that like after the partner had had the experience? Which bathroom? Uh, There's a lot of bathrooms. Yeah, there, it's all bathrooms. bathrooms. There was that scene which was like... teeth? No, no, not the oh. not the police bathroom. Oh, okay. I think it was like Rutger Howard's bath. That was where he gave uh, the partner the smile during the walkway. Oh, it was like, right. okay, you're good, and like, like you know. But I can't remember. Right, yeah, what the they were was. like inches away from each other's faces. Yeah, but mm-hmm. what brought us there? Was that like he had? Uh, there was a scene. This is a. Uh, there was a scene with the, in the shot. Oh, scene that was the partner um, got shot in the chest, and then like. There was no fallout from that, right? He got blown out a window. Yeah, he got blown out. And then just like he shows up in like two scenes later and he's like, I thought you died. And he's like, no, bulletproof vest. And they move on. Okay. They move on. And then did this scene follow that? I can't remember. I think so. What happened? They're in a bathroom? They, yeah, it, it's his bathroom. They go check his bathroom. I think they were looking for Kim Cattrall, but she yeah. maybe had been abducted at that point. I'm not even sure. Mm-hmm. Or this is after the bite happened. And they go, oh, it was when Kim Cattrall was catatonic in the tub. That's Washing right. Her hands. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Because, and then uh, casually drops at her partner's, uh, his former partner's mom killed herself. Yeah, that dro- comes and out of she, nowhere, and that's when she drama. that's that's when she calls him Harley, and he's like, "Wait, my partner's name is Harley." That's yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're like three <laughs> inches from each other's faces, yeah. and he's like, "What's wrong with that? What kind of name is is Dickler?" Yeah, it's just, but they're like smiling and they're about to kiss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they're one hundred percent about to kiss. Always on the verge of, of yeah. kissing. And Which just, is what I want in a cop It's just so yes. flirty. That's and how they survive. Mm-hmm. Titillating. Yeah. Well, it like it keeps going because uh, the um, the partner eventually does like actually see um, the creature, mm. right? Yes. In the, oh, oh, when they go to the what, morgue. This is what changes them. Yeah, that's what changes them. They go to the morgue, which... Future they, morgue. Future morgue, morgue which yeah. looks like a scene from Coma. In, yeah. yeah. Where all the bodies just kind of hang. In bags. They're, from the they're yeah. suspended, yeah. Which yeah. I, I like. Is It's a great look. It's... Unexpected and I and I well, guess and they it, do use it when the shootout happens. And it doesn't happens, the cleanest place, but it doesn't it doesn't yeah. make sense though because they're Truly. like dead bodies and they're like hooked up to and IV they are bags victims and stuff. of the ra- it is the morgue, so they yeah. should be dead. But, but they're hooked up to IV bags, right? And what shit. You like, right. So yeah. there's no understanding of what they're what are you, doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, why? What saline uh, solution do you need to put in this corpse? Right. It makes no and, sense. And blood, like, why? Is this is this corpse peeing? Why is this bag here? Like, it makes what? no <laughs> sense. I it did truly. like that scene where, because uh, I always like it when there's a morgue attendant uh, in the morgue, and it's uh, always- Eating like, a sandwich. Well, the question is always, what's uh, okay, what's One the morgue eight. attendant going to be eating? He literally, like, crashes through the wall, points a gun, because they think, you know, the <laughs> yeah. killer's in here. Sure. I know the killer's in here. Mm-hmm. So they go in and point a gun at this guy, and he's like, what are you eating? He yeah. does ask, what do you mean? And he's like, hey, he works here. Now, if yeah. you ask sure. that because someone knew that morgue attendants always eat food. I think so. If it that's why that they way. did it, love it. There's yeah. a lot about this movie that feels like the makers like they are know in yeah. on the... Something. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's like a Mr. Skin, but for uh, like We've morgue people before. eating sandwiches, have we? Like a, like a database of like oh, all the, the movies. Of, like a database of all the scenes of morgue. like... A mortician eating a yeah. eating a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. you could make one. There's so many instances. Uh, I'll bet there's someone on Reddit somewhere <laughs> that's compiled that, a like, list. Compile yeah, compile the list of, yeah. of them as, yeah. as far as they know. Just like these are all more uh, morgue attendants. Yeah, it's always something you gotta like. Yeah. What can you do to make that scene uh, different? I mean, they're always going to be eating, right? There's got to be a food that's more funny than a sandwich, right? Yeah. There's got to be something more comical than a sandwich. I don't uh, like spaghetti or something. Shrimp, yeah. Like yeah. Shrimp. I was thinking shrimp spaghetti, cocktails. Yeah. shrimp cocktail, yeah. something really. Fancy caviar. Right. Yes. You got a dip or, yeah, a, yeah. Or, or a spread of some sort. Did, yeah. What's his name? Ever play a morgue attendant? He feels like he would. Um, Just the balancing rat, the... a charcuterie on the on the uh, belly. Yeah, yeah the... exactly. And I'm yeah. sure that's happened somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Where he has to eat it with his fingers. You yeah. Know? yeah. Oh no, yeah. you always have like, to eat it with your like fingers. You're pulling that's, like pieces of meat off no, of it. Like that's, yeah. 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 No, that's the thing of being uh, uh, a morgue attendant. Yeah. You have to be doing it with the hands that you touch the dead bodies with. 
Uh, what's his name? The guy who's le- uh, the rat guy. Oh, watching. Michael J. Pollard. Michael J. Pollard yeah. had to have played this role at some point somewhere. It feels like he'd be a good one. Like, you know, I can see him playing that part. Right? Yeah. Right? He's somewhere in his movie. career. I, it's not coming to mind, but oh, no. I feel like sure he has to at some yeah. point play in the morgue attendant. Um, but so in the morgue, um, the creature shows up. Oh, because it's going back. It didn't get the heart. Did we say there was a heart in Harley's refrigerator? That's why right, yep. control was in the bathtub. Uh, right. But he didn't get the heart from uh, from one of the victims. And so Rutger Hauer and it. So that means he's coming here to the police station. Okay. They go to the mm-hmm. morgue. Okay. And then there's like something walking across the ceiling. And I'm yeah. like, that's going to be rats. <laughs> yeah, because rats get in your ceiling. Uh, what, like okay. yeah. This thing is 10 feet tall. <laughs> yeah. How is it this in a drop ceiling? not in a drop ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely it. not cr- okay good. if it couldn't hold up Judd Nelson in the Breakfast Club it definitely can't right. hold up hold I mean yeah. I am just I'm just amazed at how stealthy this 10 foot monster no one is. can see it no ever yeah, yeah. We, all we know is that the little girl saw it and the dog saw it yep but we, we we always oh, get we, like we, the, we know Rutger Hauer knows we know yeah. nothing you saw they it, didn't you? Not. dickhead yeah. the dog you saw it, didn't nothing you? neither does the little girl there was yeah. a line I that I that dog. is the dog you by could, the way yeah, who played the dog? I like that he shows his police badge to the dog that, I love that <laughs> I was so like, love he talks that. specifically to the dog a few times going you saw yeah. him right yeah Here's my badge. But talking to a dog and expecting a dog to recognize a police badge are two different things. My dog understands a lot of words. <laughs> would not know what a police badge means holding it up to her face. I She'd love like, this. What? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. absolutely teach love her. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should teach her. <laughs> should I teach her to put her paws up when I hold up yeah. a police badge? Oh my God, do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is do just it. his MO, obviously. though. Like, I mean, yeah. obviously. He just wanders in everywhere. Please, yeah. please. Um, so uh, the morgue scene, when the creature shows up, runs escapes um there's a shootout of like all those urine and blood bags oh yeah, yeah. They they all shot explode. explode and everything there's blood everywhere yeah. but Runs after this mm-hmm. yeah oh that's right door. blows yeah, yeah. the door open and then the guy's like i, I, I would think it wasn't human right this is dick, yeah, dick this is, durkin this is where dirk dick durkin is like we need a bigger gun yeah. we need bigger guns and, and he I, just I, keeps screaming he it. does and i kind of love it i love yeah. that he just goes nuts yeah because this is another moment when rucker howard comes and smooths his hair yeah that was hey, yeah hey, yeah what, tell me what you saw yeah, Tell because at this point, yeah, look at me. Look, look at me. Tell me what you Tell saw. Me what well, you saw. it seems okay. like Rutger Howard. Are you Howard... Give a little kiss on the forehead? Tell me what you saw. <laughs> yeah. What you saw? Oh, Hasn't God, Rutger Howard been it. following this thing for years, right? Yeah. yeah. But now corner. this guy, because he actually went to Oxford and has occult studies, apparently, even though it wasn't. Well, no, he the only first, recently he read the book. Only recently learned right, about the occult. Yes, yeah. I remember. After sex, uh, yeah. and so he's able to like put all the pieces together. Like we're actually fighting Satan. Which they have to explain to the, a uh, lot, the This captain. is where a lot of Satan comes in. Yeah. We're, we're Which really doesn't matter, devil, but... It doesn't. Because the devil's trying to eat their hearts and None take of their matters. souls and mm-hmm. whatever. None of that matters. But they have to go down to the armory, right, to mm-hmm. get these big oh, yeah, guns. guns. We need, we need, yeah, we need uh, uh, mini guns that are shotguns. Yeah. And uh, two of them. Uh, and and bombs to, and some bombs. Explosives we need to make it. We, it. It is the arming up scene. We need to make a joke out of it yeah. with the guy who runs it, who's just like, "We're taking all of these Gi- like, giant yeah. guns that fire over six hundred rounds a minute." <laughs> right. and, yeah, yeah, and he finally gets his grenade launcher that he couldn't get the permit for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very so, true. But also, what else does the partner? Get. The straight lace suit wearing partner finally gets his fucking leather jacket. Yeah, yes. we're waiting the whole movie. Because right. <laughs> you see, right? You see, you, as soon as you're introduced to Rucker yeah. Howard, and then you know he's going to get a partner. He's slowly becoming as unhinged as Rucker Howard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's to a the moment, point where he's drinking the coffee with the sugar. Yeah. And like, hey. There's a moment yeah. when Rucker Howard literally takes the cigar out of his mouth and puts it in his mouth, and like, yep. the transition's happening. Right. It's Didn't happening. And then he comes back. He, yeah, he gives chocolate. One of these. He's like, oh, it's good. Yeah. And then like he's never had chocolate before. Never. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel sharp. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. you've got an edge. You this know, is also like, the point where it's like, you you get laid every day. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> what of it? So now you've got two crazy people or the only sane people in the world uh, running after the devil. I'm sketchy on where the, the, the plot actually devil, goes yes. from here. They're like, okay. Yeah. It's the devil. Well, somehow, is this when they they put the mirror up to his like the the, the this, map this, on his body uh, uh, and they uh, uh, see it, it has right? They carved into his chest. Yeah, yeah this, this man okay. should be in pain. Yeah. So, we, okay. So the partner gets kidnapped, tied up by this venom monster with eight inch claws, right. Right. One, uh, and not uh, killed again, for some. Not again, killed. Listener, when you see the monster, 
The fact that he would tie someone up and put them in the back of a car. Yes. Real weird. Yeah. Yeah. I like to I want I, I like to believe that the deleted scene is the monster about to kill him and he's like, Wait, are you late every night? And he's like, Well, well, all right. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna tie you, you can't up. Disappoint then. your wife. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's just like venom. And yeah. Then he just, like, tied him up and that was it. Like, but oh, okay. And uh, at some point during this carves the the Scorpio sign and the the whole thing on his chest. Yep. And he and then buttons his shirt back up. He yes. got, yeah, buttons his shirt like, back oh, up. I think Very I'm delicately. A little bit. Not yeah. that I have yeah. an entire oh, thought, Yeah, why didn't he feel chest? this? Didn't he carve it through the shirt? I thought no. the shirt was all ripped. No. Oh, okay. No, it yeah. just had little blood. Just bloody, a couple yeah. rips and then blood. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. you're just like, oh. So I those, want the scene of those, those claws. Little talons. Yeah. Talons just... putting the buttons back together. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, it's like Edward Scissorhands trying to get dressed. Exactly. It's the same thing. And like this, yeah, but Sean, you, this like this partner, his entire chest has been carved. Entire chest, like in detail. This shit hurt. Yeah, and he oh, doesn't even notice it. Yeah, this yeah. guy has been shot with a shotgun at close yeah. range, so much so that he got jettisoned out of a window. Yeah, yeah. so no, that should hurt no, enough. No, bru- no bruising, by the way. No bruising, no bruising that bruising. we know of. Yeah, no bruising. I don't know what fine. floor that was on either. Right? Yeah. Who knows where he landed? Yeah. He probably just went into water. There's water everywhere. Water <laughs> probably caught you know him. Yeah. Probably. Maybe yeah. he's just in shock because yeah. then he's like, "Oh wait, I'm bleeding," and he like yeah. falls over. He did, yeah. There is that. Oh scene. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Scene. yeah. 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 Well, because the tone from scene to scene in this movie is it's questionable. That shit crazy, to say the least. Well, and and then once they okay, I like the joke. But why now? And then once they figure out that it's a map, they're like, all right, well, we know where we need to go. Rucker Howard literally like puts his hand on his chest and pushes the like. Yeah. yeah. The wound. Yeah. 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 Like excitement of knowing yeah. what to do. Like, ah! yeah. Pushes it. <laughs> it's like his skin is barely holding on. And this takes them. I don't. Is this like a subway tunnel? Is what is this? The well, sewer? Well, sewer? before we get there, okay. there's, yeah, there's, there's still the, there's the third person in this uh, this romance, which is K- Kim, Kim Cattrall. Cattrall. Yes. Yeah. Um, Rutger Hauer uh, uh, spends a lot of the movie kissing her. Making the wrong moves. At the wrong time. At the very wrong time. Yeah. What was the first one? The first one She's was in they're, the, they're in the hospital. Yes. And you know, she got bit by the rat thing. She did. On the it shoulder, or whatever. It, 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 she, he literally is like, "Are you okay?" She's like, "I don't know what happened. I just, I saw him, and then he bit me." And uh, before she even gets the He's last like, syllable yeah. out, before she even gets the last syllable out, he like leans in and kisses her. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh. She's like traumatized, explaining. She's what got happened. the trauma blanket on in the tra- hospital, yeah. like, and he not cut, the right time, man. he cuts her off by kissing her. It is yeah. so not the not right the time, right time. <laughs> at all. It's so off putting. I remember the. But last this happens one. again later. Yeah, the last one. I thought there was three there times. Was an explo- like, well, there was an explosion where he's just like, oh, well, uh, I guess I could That's do it now. It's like eye. as the yeah. debris is raining upon right. him, yeah. it felt like he's like yeah. kissing her. Like, yeah. okay. They're like making out. Yeah. And Mid explosion, yes. Yeah. yeah. And partners just sitting there like, yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. that's what I look this up is, to. He's like, this is my night every day. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, because the partner did a, a, have that reaction. Yeah. Like, oh, I got to wait until they're done kissing before I can tell you this very important plot point. Right. Uh, Kim Cattrall and that really doesn't have a whole lot to do in the movie, no, right? Well, no. she is. Uh, so, yeah, because the threat against her, right, is now the woman in uh, 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 Stone's life is... Uh, I mean, she's attacked in the shower. We don't see it. She gets yep. the bite. Yep. And then she goes a little kind of uh, traumatized uh, in the shower from finding a heart in the, in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then I think there's a scene. Uh, she's afraid to be left alone. He gives her this hand cannon, which looks like RoboCop's gun, it while does. he's going to go check it. on yeah. his partner who's disappeared. Who's disappeared and, from yeah. outside. That's where yeah. we find him tied up and everything. Yeah. And that's when she gets kidnapped by the monster. Correct. Okay, so Correct. the idea the here, subway? so this whole thing, right, yes. And the, okay. so the, well, we have to find the subway. So the true, whole true, true. idea is that Satan... Is uh, <laughs> okay. playing a okay. game of uh, cat and mouse with Rutger Hauer. Rat and mouse. Rat and mouse. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Why Rutger Hauer? And- is yeah. he like, hey, you're going to try and catch me? I'm the devil. You know what are you going to do? You know? Right. The- <laughs> hey, you're going to try and catch me? I'm yeah, the devil. It's like, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I kill all these devil. people like and I take said. their hearts, but I'm just going to bite your girlfriend. What do you think about that? <laughs> Motherfucker. You really but went, now she's a part of me. New York yeah. rat mob <laughs> yeah. boss is what you did. Yeah. But I'm just going to, I'm going to carve your, a map on your partner's chest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to leave. Them. Just come yeah. and get me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, I, I like the subway scene just because we get more, um, the monster always seemed interesting to me from when it's, we see the little bits of it earlier on in the movie. And so the subway scene is where we get 
our biggest look at it, and I it's think the it's the look. Yeah, it is. It is. The, yeah. How did we get there? The, the subway is the end of it. The, right? yeah. the yeah. map so, tells them okay. to go there. The map. The, yeah. The map tells them to go there. So they go to and the, the rat on the, the door. They go to the, yeah. the map. They go to the, right. okay. they go to the rat catcher. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which he knows. Right. Is he Michael has Pollard. I hate this. Get and... this character the fuck out of this movie. I hate this. <laughs> He's everything. Well, I mean, he deserves. He dies. He deserves to as well. Well, he he makes the illusion that I think that the subway tunnels are basically hell. You don't need time. Where you're going? Well, it yeah. makes sense subway though because if it's flooded, yeah, the subways there should honestly they shouldn't even be able to get down there if the, if, if if London is flooded this bad. Well, that's the why subways would be, would be gone. Right? That's, yeah, but that's why that's why they have to go to him because right, he's, he's the only one. He's, got, like, he's the, the one only area. one yeah. that can get down there. Like, yeah, and also probably because he's like I know this one isn't flooded. So yeah, there, I was like, like when they get down there, there's like no water. Yeah, in. That's he's the only one that has access, so he knows what's flooded and what isn't. Right, which is. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, that's right. It was uh, the Scorpio symbol. It's uh, the, the water symbol. There was the, yeah. the, yep. the, the year yep. of the rat. Like all the, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All which makes doesn't, sense. none of it matters. All makes sense. None of it matters. <laughs> <laughs> yep, love yeah. it. Um, so they get down there. And, and we get our uh, uh, Predator 2 scene. There's a, before, well, the, all the creeping around in the tunnels and the rat catcher's dead, right? Like, oh my God, that means he's down here somewhere with us. Yep. Um, I forgot to say, like, you know, we were saying, you don't get to look at the creature. So the way that they solve that uh, is they always have the point of view for the guy with the high blood pressure, like watching uh, all the scenes, mm-hmm. you get, like stalker cam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Although it's not 10 feet tall. Mm-hmm. So no. they weren't playing and ahead. Just, and it's just like sulking behind a corner. Like, yeah. Right. Nobody can see it. <laughs> right. Know, like, yeah. yeah. Did the they seriously thing. just design this thing at the end and they yeah. go like, yeah. shit, yeah. Where he said 10 feet tall. Yeah. Well, let's make it a monster that's 10 feet tall. Yeah. So they get into this flooded underground sub, well, flooded. Uh, it in, doesn't seem yeah, flooded. Not, yeah. Ankle it's, deep. It's, no, yeah. not at this point. Yeah. And uh, Kim Cattrall is. Uh, oh, the base. she's strung up. She's yeah, she's hanging from the ceiling of the, sub, and the this tunnel. Is, right, and this is where they're trying like the there's Satan a circle stuff of light that this, has this, like never been talked it. about before. You can't break it. Well, he did say something. Circle. Anything inside the circle is like it's a circle of power in the symbol. Yeah. yeah, but this okay. is a lot. Yeah. To add I don't know to how he knows on. that, like, because she's there's one light in the subway yeah, that's shining on her. Mm-hmm. Somehow, this is a magic circle. Not yeah. great. And um, so, so uh, like, like, they make her swing out of it. Yeah, they're like, uh, we got to get her down, but we can't cross the threshold of the circle. Right. What was wrong right with her? The she, they're like, you got to swing your legs up. like it already does. We can't do this because the monster will attack us. They do it, monster attacks them. Yep. Like, I don't, there's no. Uh, her soul would be damned to hell. Uh, in the circle. And, and then, she, so they get her on top of the subway car. And they are chased. And then by she's, an arm. she's chased by a hand. The but, arm yeah. is literally sawing through the top of right, the subway car. Right, not the sharp claws. Not no, the claws. It's, it's like the, the forearm, yeah. yeah. There's sparks flying, right. chasing, which, flying right. chasing which, after her. Personally, I love. Yeah, and it's, it's great. Badness. It's fantastic. It's great. It's it's great. Fantastic. Love it. Um, and so, you know, that they're on top, and then Rutger Hauer, like, ends up in within the subway trains. He's going from train to train. He's going down. One of the best shots from this movie. Is when he's going down and he's got the black, like there's an entrance behind him and there's the blackness there. But then he turns around because he hears something. Oh, yeah. And then the monster comes up from behind him. I and think this wraps is a, his and claws around his head. face. Right. It's a great yeah. shot. And then we get the claws that come in because it's, I think it's this great. monster is actually better from what we see. Like the claws look really good mm-hmm. around him. I think that's why they spent so much time on that shot is yeah. because they were like, we know how Long good shot. these claws look. Right. And that might be that, that very well may be true. They're just like, this is going to look really good because we got all the elements. And to they just, were right. If it nothing does. else <laughs> to make this <laughs> shot look good. And they did. And it looked great. And, Good claws. Yeah. And Rucker Howard's like face of like shock, like deer in headlights in the moment. It's perfect. It's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it really is an alien moment where you got it just this alien. It's just like quietly. So it's just like yeah. quietly wrapping its claws around yeah. his face. It's, it's, it's like, fantastic. I got you, buddy. No, it's you're fantastic. Yeah. But and then, then it looks like he's going to claw his balls off, but it just claws at the. It pulls off the that strap uh, that uh, well, I thought the, it's a bandolier, but yeah. you know, whatever yeah, the hell the that he's S&M wearing. Strap yeah. Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it trips him. And so he falls, and then he blasts it a couple times. They they start blasting it from the. the oh yeah, they're on the right, roof. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somehow. And they throw a bomb in there, and they're just hoping he gets out. I think we've established that like I unloaded a full clip on it, and it just got up and walked away. You know, yeah, he talks so you can't yeah, yeah. kill it by shooting it. Okay. Right. Sure. Um, but then we do. But so that's that, yeah. before we had mini guns. That's right. It was mini a scene shotguns. with the, in the in the kitchen with the mini gun where he, he blows uh, the kitchen up like, yeah. with the gun. Yeah, yeah. I saw a rat. Yep. And then Why he's do you like, shoot my kitchen. And then he's like, I'm bleeding. And then he collapses. Yeah. 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 Um, so they unloaded the miniguns. Mm-hmm. 
And then I think they basically uh, stun it with like a grenade. Well, that scene was like, uh, so partner Dick's up there. He chucks a grenade in. Rutger Howard. Hopefully you get out. The- Rutger Howard. Yeah, he's in there. He like has a moment to say a line mm-hmm. and then jumps out and then they yeah. count down. And it's yeah. far yeah, too seconds. long. It's far too long. And it blows yeah. up. Why the monster was still in there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, they shot it, I guess. Yeah. And, I don't uh, think subway uh, windows are that easy to jump through, to tell you the truth. I don't think any windows are, but... Yeah. yeah. So so it's dead. No. No, no it's not. <laughs> no. It's not. No, because, this was, this was bullets a very, only uh, stun it, Colin. They need something bigger. Well, yeah, it I, was a very fireless explosion. More yeah. Percussion. I think you see the windows. There's a lot like, of water. Out. Everything's there is wet. a lot of water, yeah. In the train car? Yeah. Okay. So everything's everything's flooded. You sound like yeah. the filmmakers explaining I'm this to just, people. <laughs> everything like, established water. Okay, the world's flooded. No, I'm with flags. her. Everything yeah. flooded. Yeah. So uh, Rutger Hauer gets a, or no, sorry, it was uh, Dick. Or, no, it was Rutger Hauer gets a great idea yeah. because there's this, I think we actually, they did establish this earlier, right? When they came down the stairs, there was an arcing power line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so he goes, Aha, I'm going to pull the power line off of this, run it all the way back down the tunnel to the subway well, car. While everyone's sitting everyone's, in this water. There's nothing Good but water. God, yeah. They're running yeah. through water. They have to go through water. They're all standing in water when uh, yes. there's so yeah. much water. This is a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Yep. Yeah. Even just in like... If it got close enough, and it would like arc into it. Exactly. And be fucking yeah. dead. Well, Kim Cattrall Whatever. gets in on the action too because she gets to help out, like actually uh, running the yeah. you know, running the cable to him, and then he's like, you know, turn off the power so I can jump do up this. and hold onto the ceiling. I was amazed that the monster was still just kind of waiting. Uh, he was stunned. He was stunned. Colin. Okay, he's still hanging out in the. But uh, still, then he car. yells at Kim Cattrall to get out of the water, so she clamps onto a metal cage. Connected to the water. Yeah, yeah. A metal cage. Mm-hmm. But she did get out of the water. To a metal cage. Yes. Right. <clears throat> we get a lot more looks at the monster that. at this point. <laughs> this is where the whole, this is where the more of the venom comes through. Because yep. literally, yeah. it's venom. It's well, we venom. get to see it's, like, it is. its torso you see its and all It's torso, it's, it's mouth, wounds it's claws. or moss on it or but something. But it's fucking venom. Yeah. yeah. It looks exactly Very like long, lingering shots of the mouth where I thought for sure the jaws were going to open and the alien head was going to come out yeah. of there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, got, there's you know, that too. If he yeah. had a couple more weeks, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> uh, but Rutger Hauer is able to attach the cable. They throw the power. Everything is shocked to shit. And we're like, ah, we got him. No. Okay, he's let's still just shoot alive. him with shotguns just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, but first, Rucker Howard rips the heart out. Oh uh, yeah, yep. just punches in a rip because he's a through, fucking badass. He punches <laughs> through his chest and rips the heart out. And holds it in front of his face. Okay, okay. Coffee okay. Then it leaks, it leaks mustard finger. Are you, okay, but he <laughs> he punches this chest with all the force of a fucking Price is Right contestant <laughs> playing the punch out game. Just <laughs> And he reaches in and pulls out that hundred dollar ticket, and right. like, that's a week, a week, yeah. like a sixty year old woman is like, "Oh, I'll take that one." Yeah, exactly. Like that is, yeah, that, that is, is like, the force. It, right. Yeah, he has no power up. He has no like. We we don't see that he has like karate skills that's or a anything. Great no. comparison. Yeah, yeah, it's just boop, and that's then and then yeah, amazing. It, it rips off phantasm, and there's mustard blood yeah. coming oh, out yeah. of his heart. Yeah, holds it for a little yeah. bit, and, and then he has to kill the heart. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. The thing so. gets shot to shit. Yeah, and he's also he holds the heart like fucking like Hamlet style. And shoot yeah. shoots it. <laughs> oh, he's got, his, he's got yeah. his uh, tough guy one-liner. Yeah. Sweet uh, dreams. Oh, which doesn't make no. any sense. Yeah, it doesn't it was, make any sense. Is that what he said? Sweet dreams? Yes. Sweet dreams. Oh, that's Why didn't he didn't say, see you in hell? Right. Yeah, see you in hell. Well, yeah. you want to go to hell. Uh, yeah. 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 But, but again, Satan, not yeah. a heavy theme, yeah. I think. No. Or even just Easily go to hell, dropped. you bastard. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. S- Sweet Dreams makes no sense with you this rat. movie. Like, Neither. this is where the rat bastard line should have come in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so 100%. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it has rat DNA. Yeah. A lot of things. I got you sense. now, you rat bastard. Yeah. 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 Bam. See you Done. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nights in White Satin, uh, the song. Yes, Nights in White Satin. It plays several times throughout yes, this movie. And I, I have to say, you know, regardless of what we say about this movie in our wrap ups, it was not deserving of that song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, right. clearly they licensed like that and uh, that old Black Magic. I mean, yep. that was it. So they could afford those, and they're like, "Well, we're going to use it." So we got mm-hmm. instrumental versions. Yeah. We got the actual song, but I don't understand what the uh, thematic. Uh, I, I, I feel like thematics are tough. Occult is like I, as far as they got. Tough yeah. in this movie. I feel like the filmmaker just really likes that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then our heroes wander off uh, the trio, and then they get on a speedboat. Speedboat. <laughs> 
and sail across the Thames. A white speedboat, yeah. and which is is the, the purity shows that it's over. Yeah. yeah, and there's a voiceover talking about the, they go on to their other adventures together. Yes. Right. Yeah. I think that was Dick. That it was, was Dick. Yeah. Because then Edgar Howard yeah. tells him to shut up. It's like, yeah. Dick, would you shut up? Yeah. <laughs> Credits. Credits. Yeah. Well, uh, no, no, no. We get a close up of the water. Oh, then, the right? water's bubbling. Then we see the yeah. water bubbling. And Why? then credits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo. Okay. Because we need okay. split seconds. It was. For this, uh, this equal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Split seconds. <laughs> Evil yeah. never dies. Yeah. Oh. That was a fucking journey. Yeah, I thought something would bubble up. I thought it was going to be a rat. To tell you the truth, like a rat. Rat, and then a rat was going to like eat a little piece of the heart or something, and that would give. And us then like, we get Rat Man, yeah. yeah. Split second too, but yeah. never. Split never second, happened. fuck that time. Because <laughs> in a Black split Tide would have been better. Everything changed. It would have been, yeah. 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 Even though it sounds like a pirate. It does. Right. It does. Black yeah. tie. Mm-hmm. But when you think about like if they really lean in more into the rat, more into the rat, for yeah. example, like Black mm-hmm. Black Black Tide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I guess we've covered the movie, but we're going to tell you whether or not you are contractually obligated to watch it or if you have to legally scrub it from your <laughs> memory banks. Mm. But first, we're going to read we're some of your mail. Mm-hmm. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He definitely has rat DNA. Oh, oh yeah. for sure. 100%. He for sure. It's the body. Out with That's his character, one. like with that monster. They probably have a poker game on Fridays or some shit. <laughs> Maybe. Um, He's holding the cards in his dainty clawed hands. <laughs> He's pretty dexterous with those claws if he can button up shirts, it's you know? True. So. Yeah, true. But I bet, he, I bet he makes Igor shuffle for him. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's just like, I can hold them. I can't do all the things. I mean, he <laughs> was Igor able plays. to take, uh, the monster was able to take Rutger Hauer's glasses off uh, pretty uh, astutely. He did. He did. With his gigantic that was talents. Pretty talented, yeah. We should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter X. At Saturday Freak Show. <laughs> uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or Instagram and threads at Saturday Night Freak Show. MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Ooh. Show, a wall of fame, writes in to let us know that we have inducted two personas oh, to shit. the uh, hallway uh, of uh, fame. Yeah, right. The first is John Bennett. This one I am unsure of, but the IMDb does back it out. It says in okay. 1961... He was uh, in The Curse of the Werewolf as an uncredited oh, policeman. That yeah. movie was awesome. He was a frog guard oh. in Hell, Hell Comes, Comes to Frog, frog Town. Town. Uh, the only movie he could be a frog yeah. guard in. <laughs> and he was Dr. Shulman in Split Second, which I do not even remember. Maybe that, that was the mortician or something. Oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah. I was way too young. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I'm just there was trying the, to think like a doctor. Yeah, there was that scene when Kim the, the hospital. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, oh, right, sure, right, right. I'm sure at that point. Yeah, somebody's in there. Uh, Colin Skeeping was oh. Oh. Uh, he was the barman uncredited in Superman 3 which yes we covered on the show okay. returned to Oz he was a wheeler okay and he was also a drunk in split second all right all okay. right <laughs> welcome to the hallway hallway well, yeah. hallway but thank you MF Matt yes. for doing the Lord's he work he may be opening the door to let other people into the hallway like, that's <laughs> how far we're gonna push that one well about tonight's movie split second Karate Warrior 2 right since says Dumb. look I didn't ex- expect anything going in, but this was fun as hell. No pun intended. Howard is on fire here. I wish it was a little less English tinged and swapped English Durkin for Michael Keaton because those two <laughs> would have been. He gives a, a an OK sign. I'm yeah, still that would kind of agree there. Yeah, like, I think that would have been cool. It really felt British. I mean, no, yeah, maybe, that was yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah no, it, it was intentional. in London and everything, but like, yeah, it was an odd thing. Michael Keaton, yeah, if he wanted to go more American. But yeah, yeah. It, you know, it ended, up, it ended up being... Well, Dom also says, I'm a little stumped as to why there was a bootleg custom Galoob WCW Lex Luger figure made into a keychain. <laughs> yeah. Which was, was, Lex Luger? was, Which that, was uh, prominent uh, because Durkin said, like, my girlfriend, my girlfriend made that yeah. gave it to me. Yeah. So Dom did the work and Bravo he reached Dom. out to the writer oh. who responded and oh. said he didn't know. He thinks that it must have had some significance because Somebody featured. Lex Luger was big at the time. Oh yeah. my god! That wow, thanks, funny. Dom. That's incredible. Dom, amazing. Yeah. It's amazing who you can connect with on Twitter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, X. Uh, Joey Blythe says this version of Venom is so much better than Topher Grace. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Better. 
Uh, Way better. Travis Legler says uh, Rutger Hauer kind of looks like he's cosplaying as James Woods and John Carpenter's vampires yeah. before that was even a thing. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah he does. Yeah. Yeah. He even does. Dracula get on in that action and wear sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Simon Carter says I really enjoyed this movie. It's kind of redundant to say that Rutger Hauer is great in this but he is. Mm -hmm. I love the creature design and the look of a futuristic flooded London. It's also cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Michael mm -hmm. Whitaker says Rutger Hauer and Kim Cattrall I've never mm -hmm. heard of this movie and I gotta say I was expecting something a little more Thanksgiving themed but uh -huh. I suppose I that on those. Yeah. they're few and far in between for a setting for a horror movie but my interest is peaked so I will check it out there you go Jimbo I says I own this on VHS oh, but I haven't watched okay. it yet I'll do my diligence before the episode I only hope it's a, not a universal pass requiring me to have my memory wiped <laughs> and burn the tape uh, let us know if there's like preview movies on this VHS tape, let us know what they are. I'm curious. Yeah, what, very what curious. Right. I'm what curious about the yeah. VHS watch. Let us yeah, know uh, yeah. what you're. Able I want to see what the art looks like. Well, yeah, I don't know what same. you're able to see. Oh, it's the monster standing behind Rutger. Is Howard. it? The, it yeah. really is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me so know. They what, give it away if, if anything's cut out, cut off, what have yeah. you. Yeah, but yeah, 1992. I wonder what the trailers are. Yeah. yeah. The poster gives away. That it really it's does. Alien yeah. versus Rutger. This is why I thought. Like, are there rat people in this? Like, what is this thing? Uh, Raft Production says, I need more oh. chocolate and coffee. Apparently, he is Would you uh, also like the anxiety? in control of his anxiety. I always want chocolate we can give you the anxiety. Last week, we watched a movie called Bunraku. 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 Uh, Jesse Butler writes in to say, I forgot this movie existed. I remember running Everyone it from Blockbuster did. and feeling like a fever dream. This was the same <laughs> yes. year The Warrior's Way came out, which is basically Lone Wolf and Cub. Uh -huh. And I kind of miss the hybrid genre movies. Makes me wonder if the show Into the Badlands was inspired by this movie. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I haven't seen that. Is it worth watching? No. In no. no. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. It's, I mean, interesting stylistic. No. No. Just like Boon Rocket, stylistically it, okay, cool, gotcha. but no. Sure, sure. Um, Steve Carney, I think, gave us a, a two-parter about this movie. The casting is on point, and I can see the film becoming a cult classic if it's not a, already. Everything works. It's a great time. And then he talks about It Follows, which was the movie we did the week before, yes. and says, I'm glad you gave a shout-out to Micah Monroe's other works, especially Significant Other, which I'm still waiting to be released on physical media. I love that. Oh, that's Steve, a bummer. Yeah. We, yeah. we did an episode. you got to check out yeah. our Significant yeah, yes. Other episode. We, we watched it. Uh, Jacob Cotner says, if only it would follow its own rules. This movie is a beautifully <laughs> shot mess. Yeah, mm, that, I, yeah, uh, yeah. Legitimate to say, I would say. Uh, Neil Gum says the timelessness, because the movie takes place in an unknown time period, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. along with the quirky characters, makes me think of it as the Napoleon Dynamite of horror movies. That's, oh my God, that's, that's so accurate. True. That's oh my so God. true. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's exactly it. There, yeah. wow. <laughs> that's exactly it. Uh, Eat your dinner. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is there tater tots in it follows? Right. There might be. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark Harrison says, I can only imagine the, oh, for the sequel, They Follow, oh, which yeah. was announced. He says, I can only imagine the entire sex industry of Detroit has been taken out by this monster, and that's why it's back. <laughs> imagine the police's reaction to the string of dead bodies, thinking it was the work of a serial killer, only to discover it's just a demon. We've Again, never there's seen... so much to explore. Yeah. yeah. He says, if you were to play matchmaker, which movie monster would you set up to date, marry, or breed with the monster from It Follows? The Barbarian Mother. Oh, oh nice. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. contemporary. I was going to go with Sil like from like Species. That's a, oh, there we go. Oh, Sil, that's yeah. a good one. Man. I was thinking Detroit. She's right next yep. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, right. that's yeah. a good yeah. one. They can cross that's universes good. real easily in this. I like that. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. Or, oh. I think... Okay. Uh, skip ahead like 30 seconds for spoilers for Don't Breathe. The dude in Don't Breathe would deserve it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Turkey baster. Turkey I think, baster. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I think Freddy and this monster would get along. Yeah, like, yeah. Freddy's the it's like yeah, this it's a monster. Dream monster. The, yeah, this monster's yeah. like the dangerous one. He's just like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll, I'll date you, but you're kind of crazy. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> All right. All right. stretch. I'm not saying it's not, but right. <laughs> well, Appleiva followed the uh, breadcrumbs and watched the third movie in a loosely themed <sighs> trilogy, which was Under the Silver Lake, and says, uh, uh, "Boy, the journey there was so much more interesting than the ending, which was underwhelming." That sucks. Mm. Yeah, so there you go. It's maybe a, underwater, isn't it's it? Underwater in that movie? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, Colin, what? First of all, what? thank okay. you all okay. Yes, thank okay. for writing Fine. very much for writing. We really we appreciate it. it. Yes, that's all right. of your we hard work. It. Get it. Speaking to the writer, yeah, of that, oh, yeah. yeah that's fantastic. amazing. Doing the Lord's work. There we love go. that. MF go. Mad holding down the wall. Yep. You guys are amazing. We love you. 
Come on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I uh, like no, you're no, you were you were correct. Um, um what did you think about tonight's movie? All right, so I saw Split second in the theater. <laughs> okay, I have a question right, about this. Uh, so the they claim that this movie didn't do well because it was released the same day as the L.A. riots. Yeah, yeah. Colin, were you just blowing off this news about oh, the L.A. riots to go see Split Second? Yeah, when Social you're when on. you're a kid, you don't care <laughs> okay. about like what's actually taking right. place half the right. feels like half the world away. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the movie. I don't. I'm, I'm sure it was the same weekend. Yeah. Um, or at least that's what they say. I don't recall. I just remember it was in a little box theater, and there was not very many people there, and um. I did not like it. I mean, all I haven't seen it since then. So all these years, I've kind of carried that with me that like, I just didn't care for this movie because mm-hmm. like, I think, you know, I knew there was an alien in it, but then well, then it's the devil. I just was like, right. hey, what the fuck yeah. are they doing? And like the whole satanic thing, just really, the occult graft on the science fiction thing just really didn't feel like it worked. Uh, however, tonight I saw it in a completely different light, which is prob- probably the way that the filmmakers intended because it's goofy. I've heard people say that there's unintentional comedy in this. This is this is intentional. Like, I mean, I don't know. It surprises if you, which may make people think it's unintentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but those are setups and payoffs. They are. Jokes. Yes, yes absolutely. they are definitely. Yeah, so it's like they knew what they were doing, but it's one of those things where you wonder. If the people who what was that was it cutting class where we saw a movie where it felt like the <laughs> yes somebody yes. wrote the movie we like, wrote a slash director we got it directed it, it yeah, like yeah, a yeah. comedy and yeah. said I yeah. can't take any of this seriously I'm just gonna <laughs> yes. and that's kind of what it feels like actually it feels like it feels like Rutger Hauer was like in charge of this yeah you know <laughs> yeah. and just was like let's, he was let's a big rewrite fan. this like, let's he rewrite was in that for this movie he was a big fan he liked it and he had a lot of input on it so you might be right. Because it was a lead role, and he got a good paycheck, and he got to go to London or something. I mean, that's yeah. what, you know. Um, I think he's doing. I mean, it's not like serious acting. He's doing a lot. It's dramatic. Acting. It's dr- it's o- overly dramatic. Yeah, not which serious. Is amusing. Dramatic. You know, and I guess it sets the tone for like everything else. But yeah, to see this guy, like, I guess maybe that's the thing. If you go into it, that could be a turnoff to see like right. a character that is so over the top, like this guy is a badass mm-hmm. or you <laughs> right. eat it up. And right. I think mm-hmm. this time I was eating it up because I'm like, okay, I see what they're right. doing. They're setting a tone for the entire movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and you know, it's like it moved. It was every single, I think what I liked was the momentum of it. And just mm-hmm. like, it kept on going like, what the, he- you know, what the hell? The whole way through. I was never bored with it. I think that is kind of what I, how you grade it. You know, you're like, well, did I snooze or is it st- stupid? Um, I mean, it is stupid, but it, it's knowingly stupid. You know, if I'm getting that across. Yes. Yeah. Um, the monster looks like an alien. So I don't know if we can say that it's like good, bad or indifferent. The production design looks, uh, you know, like, well, we got a bunch of fences. Let's put them up all over the place. Uh, I think it's Rutger Hauer really makes the well the interplay between Rutger Hauer right, and he's partner, committed. Yeah, right, yeah. partner's doing a lot too. He like, is. The yeah, knows where he's mm-hmm. going. What's that actor's name? Neil. Oh, it's his real name's like Alistair or something, but he oh, went yeah. by Neil uh, yeah. uh, like Thompson. I, I saw, I saw something Alistair like that. Right. So he's uh, he's had other stuff to do in British. He's also committed. And, he yeah. knows what he's doing. I know those two guys. It's like they know what the tone of this movie <laughs> is, and so yeah, I don't know. I'd recommend it. Uh, Holly, what did you think? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, while you were talking, I thought about that question more. And I think you would do the uh, monster from It Follows and the monster from Smile. So it'd just there be like go. a circle. It just goes forever. It's just in a, a loop. circle there in a loop. Go. Yeah. There okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I like it. So, yeah, this movie, I had no idea what to expect from this movie. I knew nothing about it. I didn't know who was in it. I knew. Who knew? I had zero surprised. knowledge. I had zero knowledge. And this movie was just surprise after surprise. <laughs> it was a batshit crazy. Um, yeah, like the monster is, it's it's a it's it's a well made monster. Like it, it's it's fine. I it's just we've more of the monster. I did too. But Even for looking this, at it for this movie, like it works. Like it is what it is. And I think the fact that we didn't see it until the very end, it just adds to the movie. Um, we've seen this monster before. It's alien. It's venom. Like, whatever. But Rucker Howard and his partner are... I am here for the romance of this movie. <laughs> the romance, not with Kim Cattrall. 
She doesn't right. even. She the doesn't need to be in this movie. Starring romance. Of this yeah, movie. The, the romance is the partners, and this movie's crazy. I I had so much fun watching this. I, I agree with you. The momentum really does keep steady throughout this movie. I was never bored with it. I was always just waiting what weird thing was going to happen next. Um, yeah, I can see how this wasn't well received when it came out. Sure. <laughs> but watching it now, especially with a group of people, it's a fun watch. This was so ridiculous. Um, yeah, I- I'm going to recommend it for completely entertainment value. It's a dumb movie. It's really badly written. It makes no sense, but it's a lot of fun. Sean, what did you think? I think the momentum is really weird in this movie, but I think but that is what keeps you going with it. Because like, wait, what are they doing now? Like, oh, now there is a, now it is a action movie. Then it's then it is buddy cop. Then it is oh, buddy cop romance. And then oh, the female Kim Cattrall comes in halfway through the movie. I yeah. think mm-hmm. at some point interested. So she's got a dynamic in there. Mm-hmm. She ends up like at the end of the movie with you know one of the big guns blowing the bad guy away. So she's you know that's part of it as well. Um. Wow, what a weird, what a weird movie. What a weird movie. What a weird movie. Mm-hmm. Like, there was also elements of um, The Hidden. That, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that feels kind of like a kinship. Mm-hmm. There's something there's something there as well. Um, if you like just those characters, there is something about the Rutger Hauer character where he is just that guy who's just like, yeah, he smokes cigarettes and eats chocolate and then he's just fucking out for yeah. justice <laughs> and, and just being a cop, good or bad, I don't know. But he's doing, like, he's after it and he's tr- he's got a goal and he's trying to find something. And then you get, you know, familiar things like, you know, the uh, the on-the-edge cop. He gets a new partner who's mm-hmm. the fucking nerd and the bookworm. Mm-hmm. And slowly you know... He's gonna bring him over to his side, <laughs> and so you're rooting for like we like I did in this. Like yeah. eventually he'll get his leather jacket because the end of this movie is the end of Greece. Basically. Yeah, yeah, he turns into bad Sandy. Yeah, exactly, he does. Basically, yes. exactly. Um, and Lovers you know you, the you recognize the patterns, <laughs> but then they do such a fun thing in getting you know having those characters live in that area and and have their. Uh, have their journey that it is just a fun movie um and i did end up liking the monster again it looks like a lot of things that you know we know of but imagine what it, you know in 1992 yeah, yeah. The, the, seeing this monster and you're just like oh like this there's a lot it looked this. like alien yeah I mean, it it does, but there's a lot. alien three came out right yeah. and there is a lot in this movie that is like oh this is definitely of its time because it's pulling from all these other familiar elements that you see mm-hmm. um but still entertaining i think from front to back on the this. Um, I'll recommend it. I didn't know if I was going to. I'm just like, ah, does it do enough? I'm just like, it's weird enough in the fact that everyone just ignores the shittiness of the world <laughs> that Rutger Hauer is living in currently. Um, Kim Cattrall still loves him, even though he lives in a pigeon shit. His yeah. buddy apartment. loves his place, though. Yeah, oh, this oh, loves his great. place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love that they just like hand themselves over to that. Where yeah, he's because just, when you're in a new relationship, you overlook <laughs> right, you love these every, things. Right, you yeah. overlook it. You love everything. Yeah, yeah. You love every relationship. Right, right. So chicken, he's sitting yeah. on a motorcycle in his apartment, going, "This place is cool." Yeah, yeah. like, and it's just the look fact at my that, cute little slob right, over there. Right, yeah. that they just yeah. wanted to go that way, and they did. I mean, that's fun. It ends up being fun, and so I think there are way worst movies you could watch Mm -hmm. you have a good time with this one it's pretty fun so uh i'll I'll recommend split second even though it's the shittiest title for this movie (laughs) yes i'll still recommend it michaela take us home yeah the title makes no sense it has nothing to do with anything and it's it's just like it's a good generic action movie title so uh, um yeah i i think you gotta accept it warts and all you know um i mean if you've listened to this i feel like you're set up for success to enjoy this movie because you know what you're going into. Whereas, like, I had never seen this before. So three out of four of us had, like, I knew what the basic plot was because, so I discovered this movie because I was on Reddit looking for, I was, like, searching for forgotten horror movies. And there was a thread about forgotten horror movies. And this one was near the top. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, there's, like, Rutger Hauer fighting, like, a creature that's also the devil. And I was like, wait a second. I'm sorry. Yes. And then, uh, and then, like, follow up comments. End of days in 1992. (laughs) Right. Yes, please. Um, um, and I was like, and then they said Kim Cattrall is it? And then they said the LA, LA riots thing. I was like, all right, well, this is made for the freak show. So we got to watch this. Um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have more of a cult following. I'm surprised I haven't seen like t-shirts and stuff because like there is cool design you can pull from this movie for that. But it's I think they're like, just we'll truly get forgotten. People think this is Venom. Yeah, there's, that, a, yeah. there's a lot of Rutger Hauer memes from this. Movie. Is there? Oh, yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna have to dig uh, that up. That. Get out of my way. Uh, <laughs> coffee, you get yeah. chocolate, and anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's ripe for GIF reactions. This yeah. movie for I think sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you just gotta accept it for what it is. Buy the ticket, take the ride, and it's a good time. It's it's stupid and it's a mess, yep. but it. It's a, it's a fun, good, stupid, familiar mess. Like Parker Howard ties his partner's shoes laces together. Yeah. And pulls a prank on him at yes, one point. Just in the middle of the yes, movie for does. the fuck of it. Yes. And that's, that's this movie. Like, yeah, it's all beats you've seen before, but that's kind couple. of like yeah. kind yeah. of comforting how familiar it is in aspects, you know. So I'm gonna recommend it. I think it's like prime freak show material. Um I like even still knowing what I knew about it, I was still surprised by a lot of things that happened and how mm-hmm. many things didn't connect. But you just gotta get yourself in the headspace of the movie I guess and just accept that it's going to be a disaster but it'll be fun to watch so I'm going to recommend it we double feature it with alligator and we're good to go (laughs) or dead heat yeah all the triple feature with dead heat (laughs) all right well that means uh you are contractually obligated to watch the movie (laughs) uh universal claim from the Saturday Night Freak Show congratulations split second next week (laughs) (laughs) your awards in the mail (laughs) gold star to you (laughs) Should we send one of those out? You're on the wall, yeah. and yeah, you've been right. freak show approved. Freak show approved. Right? Yeah, yeah, just stamped uh, a file. Yeah, yeah. 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 paperwork in it. Yeah. You know who won't be getting one of those? Larry Black, because we did not uh, all Larry agree Rock. on that movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry, Larry. Uh, so <laughs> next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin. Yes. <laughs> You're next. What are we watching next week? Uh, I saw Eli Ross Thanksgiving. Ooh, and, you did. Uh, it's a you know so slasher movie. Free show field trip? It's putting me back on a slasher You're movie next. vibe. Oh, okay. The one we really haven't done. Well, we haven't done a lot of them. We're gonna do the Prowler. Oh, oh yeah. I've had this we on my list for a while, yeah. but yeah. I've never seen Prowler. it. We've talked about yeah. oh, wow. yeah, it. I've never seen Tom Prowler. Savini, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. This will be good. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.